Balls. I can't do it, it's too long. <laughs> <laughs> Ben and Chrissy of Cavan Connories, and welcome back to a lovely FN2 video. Boosh in your face, coming at you, Cleopatra. Why have you got glasses on, Ben? Uh, oh, I've got to, uh, I've got to. You know, do you ever watch X-Men? A mm, little bit. Well, if I take my glasses off, then oh, laser beams come out of my eyeballs. Bullshit. I just woke up with it. Bullshit. What's that? Fine, take them off then. Right. Well, I might damage stuff. Mate, it's not going to happen anyway, is it? So just do it. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah leave my head. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys. Uh, right, guys. Uh, hey, welcome guys. back to another video. Um, hey, guys. It's been a while since we've done a video, Ben, hasn't it? Oh, it has. But we've both oh. been like super busy. What? Oh, crap, right. oh, for fuck's sake. I'll do this one alone then. Uh, um, yes, and uh, it's time to. Uh, Suspension there. Do a bit of suspension on the FN2. Well, as you know, we fit. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've done myself a mischief. We, uh, we put the springs on. Put the springs on. That was just over a year ago, actually. Yes. Which are great. Yeah, they're, they're all right. They do but the But you've job. always had a they hankering. Do I don't think yeah. you've ever owned a car with coils on, have you? Never. And the difference Never. is amazing. And yes. what I kind of am looking forward to as well is I had the Ibeck Pro Springs. We both had standard springs. You've had the Teen Springs or Tyne Springs, whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. But I've never. I don't think I've ever been in a FN that's got coilovers. No. I don't. So I'm no. really excited to see. And it's more about, for me, it's the adjustability of the heights. We can dial that in. Yeah. Perfect ride height. Don't have it a too low. A lot for me is ride comfort. And I comfort, because these have got 33 yeah. points of adjustment from soft to hard. So you'll be able to just dial it. Like I do in mine, I still now. We went to Jackfest, and there was loads of stuff in the very small boot, which weighed the back down. And I was rubbing quite badly on the rear arches, so we pulled over. I clicked it three or four clicks harder, and it just Made stopped the rubbing. Do you know what I mean? A click just to, makes just a to get up there. A click. So let's have a look at them, shall we, Chrissy? Let's now. Obviously, massive thank you to Danny and Richard at Dino Days. Oh yes, these were these uh, were purchased from them through them. So uh, let's have a little look in the box or in the back. Then. Mm -hmm. So we decided to go for. The yellow speed coil Oh, baby. Everyone goes for the BCs or what's the other one Drew Modfix has got on his? Meisters. Meister, Meister R's. Yeah, I think FN Lou's I think got them as well, isn't he? Yeah. Meister I mean, you can, the Olins and stuff like that, you're talking thousands and thousands of pounds. Yeah. But generally, I would say yellow speed, BC, Meisters are all in the same kind of bracket. I think I mean? so, yeah. I mean, yellow speed, I'm going forever. To be fair, though, um, after looking a lot on the tubes, there doesn't seem to be many FN2s with these on. A lot, no. a lot of EP3s have them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. Let's have a look, Chrissy. Let's have a little look. Well, we've, well, we've already look. we've already started a little bit yeah. in case, case of running into any issues, and it's an early Saturday yeah. morning. And if we run into any issues, parts places exactly. are open till one. And obviously, as you know, we've had all of the suspension off yeah. just over a year ago, so we shouldn't run into so any issues. Really. There's not much in the box no, at the moment. Sure. Oh, one of them's over there. Chrissy, on one the of them's floor. over there. Uh, well, this is the rears, anyway. Yeah, we haven't touched the rear yet. We haven't touched the rears. The rear, as you saw if you watched the lowering springs video, it's exactly the same process. You drop like the rear beam, and then take the springs out, replace the springs, but you also replace the shock as well. So that's the only oh. bit we might have an issue. Sexual. So they have got adjustment on them. Yeah. Look. So you get that, your spring. Uh, okay. So that sits separately, obviously. Yeah. In the the beam and then that it well, sits like that doesn't it pretty much i think so but i still think that might sit on the top yeah well, there is an arrow on it pointing upwards we'll look into that chrissy because i haven't that. got a fucking clue i haven't either 
So there so we that's go. That's the rears. That's the rears. Very sexy, very, very sexy. I didn't realize that you adjusted that as well. Well, have a little look at the front one now. These look amazing. Well, we've obviously got Drooper and Steve as well that have both done cool over. There we go. They are very nice, mate. And like Ben said, fortunately, that's been off before, so it was piece yeah. to get off. But these literally went on so easy. Yeah. They literally. Around. Let's have a look at the stickers on the front. They literally just went on. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. this sticker is at the back. It should yeah, be on the front. Yeah. And these are the ones that have got the. Uh, got it. Got all the, Jesus. They've got the camera adjustment on the top as well. Yeah. Which and obviously, regret, guys. I regret not getting that on mine. The it. colour, obviously. Well, yeah, it matches you. Because we know how Ben color. loves a match, and oh, look at that for a match. Look. It's not bad at all, is it? No, well, they faded slightly. If you turn yeah. around to see the thread, it's exactly the same. Yeah. So. Unfortunately, you can't see much of that in the engine bay. But. No, you can't. Because, you, as you know, you've got an FN and everything that's fucking plastic. So, uh, yeah, you see a little bit up there. Anyway, so let's fucking get the front one on, shall we? Can I stop it? Yeah, let's. Have it's, uh, well, I'll just show you what bogs it is. I mean, it's not very hard. So, obviously. On the FN, you've got to take off your wipers and the scuttle panel to get to these easier. You don't have to, but we find it easier because it's take of, what, 10 minutes? Uh, so you've got your three top bolts there, and then you've got one bolt through there, one bolt through there, so you've got two bolts on the bottom of the shock. You've got to take the Break drop link off. off of the top, which these are new ones, I think, although that one doesn't look as new as the one on the other side. Um, they're a bit of a pain, so if you are going to do this, I would advise buying new drop links, but we haven't purely because these only went on 12 months ago, so they should be fine. The other one was. Great line off, little plastic clip there off, and a little plastic clip there off. Not disconnect your brake line, obviously it just comes off the bracket. And the beauty with, that I really, really like with the yellow speeds, as it's the same with the BCs actually, but these are, I kind of preferred because my brake line bracket was just a clamp that clamped around the bottom here whereas this every single bracket hole that's for your drop link i think uh every single bracket hole is welded onto the bottom of the strut exactly where it needs to be which is awesome they do they fit incredible yeah. so easy and, and um oh, fuck it i can't remember what i was going to say Brilliant. excellent <laughs> Chris's top tip for the day. I can't remember what I'm saying. So we're going to get that off. There's no point in filming, is it? Get all these bloody bolts off and stuff. And oh, then uh, we'll film putting the new one in, shall we? Oh, bright. A bunch of fucking hillbillies. So yeah, we'll check back in when the, uh, the old shock is out and we are inserting the new shock. Insertion. Right, it's off. Look at the difference. Gert massive. Gert lush. A little tiddler. Let's put them next to each other. Look at that, eh? Hell of a difference, isn't it? I wonder how much difference in weight there is. A little bit, not a great deal. Right, let's get it on then. 60mm, wasn't it, the other side? Yes. And make sure that they're the same once we've got it on. Yes. Yes. I think he's still lower that size now to what it was. Probably. Right. I'll find out when I go home. <coughs> Take the nuts off there. I can't look and do anything with the fucking camera on here. Take the nuts off the top. Yeah, we don't really know what these are either, do we? And it comes with little, no, they don't, um, little shims. But you don't need them. Oh, Unless well, it's just for different the vehicles that have got smaller. Pliers. Yeah, they don't fit because you can't get the bolt in. Yeah. So we just, yeah. Just fuck them off. Just fuck them off, basically. Fuck them off. Right, let's take these off. Like we did last time, I suppose. Get them in and then. It's like half the weight, mate. It's not half, I wouldn't say, but they are definitely lighter. 
Why can't you just agree? It's amazing. Why can't you just agree? Why can't you agree? And say, yeah, they are. Yeah. Can't see it. There's the light of a behind that in quite, front. I look quite tanned, actually. <laughs> you do. Uh. Like a weekend closes. Right, so we'll put these on loosely so we've got a little bit of movement. Hang on, push it back up. Like so. Right, they're on back. Look at that! Just looks quality, doesn't it? Very good. Sexuality! And then just reverse the freaking process of taking it off. Pretty much. Goes back in there, drop link in. I can't, what, did we do the drop link? Should have done drop link first last time, I think, should we? Yeah, well, that's what we said, wasn't it? Yes, last time it was a fucking nuisance. There he's in there, yeah. Yeah, how much easier was that, mate? So put your drop ring in first, peeps, on the other one we didn't, and it was a dick. Absolute dick. Absolute dick. <laughs> Absolute ultimate cosmic power. <laughs> Remember what that was from? That was from Aladdin, mate. <laughs> Very good, Crystal. That was from Aladdin, that was. You'll get your reward. Your eternal oh, reward. reward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one of my favourite Disney films. Oh, it is one of the best. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. You're sweating, mate. Well, because I'm doing all the work, mate. True. Still <laughs> shaking, sir. That's bye. Right then. This is going to be a double ander. All right. A bit of an issue, didn't we, Chrissy? Chrissy yeah. just, just didn't think about what he was doing and just. Oh, yeah, look how I get the blame again. The hub just fell forward and pulled the drive shaft out. Yeah! So, uh, if you're doing this at home on your driveway, don't do that. Mm. Don't let the hub flop forwards like that because obviously the drive shaft's in there and it'll uh, pull it out, won't it? So, we've got the drop link on, sort of. This is just putting in the other bolts. There we go. And it's literally that simple. It's one, two, three bolts. And a couple of clips for your thingy me bobs. You Hardest part. What? Did you set the distance? No, we can do it on the. Um, the hardest part is leaning on from what Chris just said. Actually setting them up, probably, for going overs. It's a ball ache if you haven't got a freaking ramp. But we're going to see, we're going to set these fronts up the same. Uh, your preload is generally always set from factory as per the model and make of the car. So don't worry about the preload, or you should have to adjust the height. So we're going to do them the same, drop it, and basically see what it looks like. And give them ready, bloody there. So 60 mil, is this height measuring? Somewhere, probably. A little bit other side, I think. Oh. Uh, if you watch the S2K's coilover video, there it is. And it's not hard to belt the height on them, that's the whole point of them, but it's such so wheels on, wheels off, bit of measuring, bit of twisting, wheels back on, lower it, check it. If you get a ramp, it'd be so much fucking easy, wouldn't it? Just press a button and the car goes up and down. One day, Chrissy, well, we'll have that have, ramp. Hopefully, we might have one soon. Well, yeah, we might well do. It's coming up for sale across the road. Yeah, which we're thinking about putting over here in the middle, really, aren't we? Where my car is, pretty much. But I think we'll have to get rid of, do something there, strengthen the roof. We'll speak to our landlord and then we'll be able to lift it up. So, with that, mate, because well, it's a two poster, it might even be able to go right in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. You should still be able to get cars in and out because mm. the posts will pretty much go. That right near here and here. where my back wheel is. Yeah, true. So you still get a car in there, and there. Yeah, true. Yeah. That'd oh, be got, good, wouldn't it? We've got three phases already in here. Yeah? We bloody have. Do you know what three phases, Chris? Um, a metric <laughs> that goes three ways. <laughs> you have three supplies, basically. So you can draw oh, more power. Yes, oh, yes. Right, okay, yeah. Mate, that's me, mum. It's me, old Ah, oh, hi, mum. Hi, mum. <laughs> Alright, Chris. Yeah, how are you?
Well, there we go. She's all back on. She is. Everything come off and went back on beautifully. It did, actually. Yeah. So, there we go. Ben's now just setting up the ride height. For me. We don't really know yet what we're actually doing, but... Well, height-wise, do you know what I mean? I was going to say, Ben, when have we ever known exactly what we're doing? <laughs> we have the fucking tape measure Tape measure error? I fucking bought it as well. Mate, you're fucking terrible today, um, aren't you? I had a few too many I think that chlorine's gone to your brain. <laughs> I was in there for like these three hours. Yeah, Ben spent three hours in a hot tub last night, guys. Not just all of them. And he shouldn't really be in there for that amount of time. I have told him this, but... I oh, yeah, I bought it over, look, yeah! I'm sure the chlorine levels were super high. They are super high. They're not. Mine are. I fucking put about five tablespoons in last night. Yeah, I did I did when we got out. Because I knew it was being used quite a lot today. You know what I mean? Using granules? Yeah. Yeah. Don't use the tablets, mate. I've been going. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I've, heard, I've, I've read up on that. Yeah, shit. I'm assuming. Just filming Ben sat there then with a the tape measure. It's the same as mine. Yeah, uh, yeah it's. Like we said earlier, really, a coilover is a coilover, isn't it? Really. But really? So I'm assuming that I turn. Oh, God. It's the spring. Don't turn the spring. Uh, the whole thing, I think. Well, that's raising it. So I wind that down. We're only doing this because they weren't the same when we measured it, were they? No. I'm quite excited. It's the first time ever having coilovers. It's a really huge upgrade for a car, I feel. Yeah? Yeah. Once again, massive thank you to Danny and Richard Dino Days for supplying these. Please fill the links in the description. <laughs> that was very proper for us. It was, wasn't it? And hopefully we're going to come up and see you soon, Danny and Rich. Yeah. Nice to plan a little, like a little, minute, little trip. Yeah, is it end of July? I think? Maybe. Oh, we're a bit That's freaking bob on by that. We're a bit stacked out in July. There were like three car shows. Yeah. Uh, I've got two and Pearl Jam. You have got a Pearl Jam. And unfortunately, guys, as you all know, it's not the fucking shows themselves, it's the fucking fuel prices. Yeah, mate. Right, let's just explain here then, shall we quickly? Come here, Chrissy. Yeah, let's, yeah. So, you don't, don't touch them, because they preload, basically. So that just preload, and that just, that bottom ring on the top just locks that ring in place. So the preload's always pre done basically. Yeah. So what I do is I loosen the bottom one, and then using the top one, you can spin it left or right. Um, which highs or lowers this basically, and then I just measure in between there in to between make sure they're both sides. So we'll do that, we'll drop it on the floor, see how she sits, and then it's a case of raising it or lowering it more. Lowering it more is what I would do, but Chris doesn't. Lower it? Chris doesn't like the lows. Well, I, not that I don't it's like them. Drive. It's the fact that I cannot drive the car anywhere because the roads in I, dead I, are terrible. I'm yours, just. Yeah, but you had to go with, like a snake, didn't you? Like a certain angle, like, yeah. Yeah, perfect angle to get on the, on the drive. Well, mine hits now, but well, it did hit with those springs on. Really? If I didn't catch it right, yeah. Right, wheel. So we're going to have a, a really good time and we'll check it in a bit. Yeah, it could do, actually. 
otro lado Por. We, like, we have no idea what dampening settings they're on or anything at the minute so we need to play around with that Just hold it there a sec This is very, very low. I like low. Clears it, no rubbing or nothing. You're right. Hang on, hang on. Me, that sits absolutely perfect for me. Right, it looks mint. Yeah. Settled now and it's it's close but right on to the rears everybody. Cars jacked up. On stands. Wheels are coming off. Right in here you've got these two little covers for your shocks. I think you don't need to do anything with them in here, Chrissy. They just plop out, I think. Once well, disconnected from the bottom. It's stodgy. It's going to matter the amount of fucking curb rushes on them. Look at this. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm going to get one of those rim protectors. Oh, gross, mate. Don't do that. Oh, mate, I have just to. to drive. So I think this shock... Just one bolt, isn't it? And then I think it just comes out because it's not so. actually attached at the top, I don't think. It's no, it literally just, just goes um, straight in like a dart. So it's that one there, that bugger. Yeah. So uh, we'll have a little bit of penetrating oil. And for the rear beam. Oh, yeah, because it's just one bolt does all, isn't it? Yeah. So that one bolt there you take out, which lowers the beam, once we move the jack it will lower the beam to put the spring in and just replace the shock, so it should literally just be one fucking bolt each side mate. It shouldn't be no bigger. We've just got to get the orientation right. Orientation! orientation. Just got the orientation right with the spring, so I don't know how the fuck it goes in. And then set the height the same, drop it and see what the fuck happens. These ones should be easy peasy because I'm a squeezy. They should be mate, we've done the harder ones to be fair. I'm going to spray that side up. Yeah. Penetration. Penetrate me. Penetrate me. Penetration. Right, so these are smaller. There's them. Again, these should come off easy because we only had them off a year ago. Uh, 17 mil, please. Oh. And the rattle gun. There's a 17 there, look. Oh, yeah. And there's a gun. Big brother, that weighs about eight kilos. Man's tall, that is, mate. That's stupid for me. I'm not man enough for it. I like the little green one we've got that's not here, Mark Diamond. Oh, this is a bit awkward. Well, it's something I didn't show everybody. I'll put it on Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, you didn't know that the, the seals on the MX5 were shagged. So I uh, did a bit of filling and a bit of painting. Just to tart them up, it's all going to be hidden by the body kit anyway when that comes. On both sides. And do you know what? For me, I did alright there, I think. It was a nice little driveway job. I didn't even do it down here, did it all outside. Anyway. Whatever, Ben. Not a <laughs> <laughs> You got it off? No. What do you mean, no? It's not a 17, it's a 15. It's a 15? Oh, yeah. But, I was thinking about that, when we dropped the beam to do the springs, the shock didn't flop out. No. So, uh, but there's no bolts in there, mate. There's one at the, the one on top. Yeah, but that just, that's to take the shock apart. And you've got to take that to get it out. Have you? Yeah, you've got to take that nut off to get it out. Do you? Are you sure? I think so. Probably oh, a washer underneath that. 
one, maybe. Which holds it, what's holding it to Let's the car? Let's have a look at the top of the other ones, shall we? Okay, I've got an indication because I'm, um, I'm assuming you've got to reuse a few bits on them. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that, look. It's like sandwiched. So that comes off. Yeah. That comes off. Push it up and then clamps it together. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. uh, so we might have an issue then because it's the Allen key ones. Same inside that's on it already. Chris is optimistic. We like optimism. All right then. We've got the old one out on the left side, which was well, pretty easy. But let me show you something. Go. Right, so basically, on the old ones, you've got the rubber bit that goes in between here. And there's a like a collar in there. That you've got the same thing on there, but that collar is thicker than the collar on there, and you can't get that off. So we drill the hole out in the rubber a bit bigger to compensate for the thicker shroud or whatever you want to call it, and it's gone in in there. Matt? Matt, does it seem to break apart, mate? Oh. It's just spinning. Spinning? Yeah, the nut. The socket's spinning on it. Right, guys, the. Uh... Right, guys. Right, guys. Right, guys. Uh, yeah, the back's been a bit more complicated than what we thought, Ben's, really, isn't it? Yeah, I explained a minute ago about these freaking rubber mounts with the, and there's a metal shroud in there, where there is now. But it won't go in because it's wider than the OEM ones. So we just stuck it in a vise without the metal bit and obviously reamed it out a bit, made the hole a bit bigger so that we could get it in. Um, because it goes on like this. It smells like a fucking drift track in here now. It does, doesn't it? So that goes in there like that, you see? And then... Um, do it again. You've... Balls. I can't do it. It's too long. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so that goes up and sits in, and then that one sits on top, and there's another <laughs> rubber above. Bit of a twat, wasn't it, really? Oh, fuck's sake. Where there's a will, there's a way, Christopher. I'm worried about you a bit, Benj. Why? When I've seen you do that, when you work the balls, you do it very well. Hey, look, look at that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and there's another little rubber up here as well. Yeah. So that, yeah, it's a bit annoying that. They don't, well, I don't know why they. But it's taking longer to do the fucking rears than it has the bloody front. Yeah, basically, and then you just slotting up there like that, not through the bloody hole. I'll get the other washer and nut. Yeah, you don't get a lot on that, do you? No. But it will pull itself in there. It's them stupid things. I need a little bit more on that bench. I'm trying to push. No, I need more. Oh, oh. oh I'm gonna have to put this camera down a minute, guys. So what we've done is we've just made sure that these oh, yeah. yeah, see what I mean? So the spring will just flop out now. There they go, that there's your old things. See I don't know why we gotta reuse these well, I suppose you've got to reuse the rubbers, haven't you? Yeah. On the top anyway, I don't know about the bottom. And then yeah, we we'll just drop the rear beam. They have slotted out. Well, there's a spring there in it. So uh, this is a bit I'm unsure of, to be honest. Ah, these go on the bottom, don't they, Ben? Yes. So you won't need them then? Don't think so, no. Yeah. yeah so you won't need the ones at the bottom? Yeah, but there's an arrow there. Right? That points. That to me says that if that points up. Well, it's installed on chassis side, well chassis up, isn't it? So it's got... It can't be. I don't know, mate. I don't know. Unless that does go in like that. Well, it can't. Let's figure this out. Hi, welcome to Suspension Corner. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. We had a little bit, well not a moment did we, but it's, I've never done quite like this before, and neither of you have it, so it's a bit, we didn't know what way this fucking goes or what, but... Yeah, yours the, were quite a lot different. Yeah, because the, the 
the shock itself, like the damper, is separate to the spring. So there's obviously height adjustment on this and on the damper itself. On the bottom of the spring, there's a flat bottom and a round bottom. So obviously the flat bottom goes onto there. They go in that way around. Yeah. You bangers. Um, yeah, tell me about it. What the fuck? <laughs> so, what we've done is, because the height was quite good, wasn't it, on the teens on the rear? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So what we've done is, so basically, there's a rubber bit on the bottom of the, um, what's it called? What's it called? There. What's that called? It's annoying me. The subframe bit. Sub, yeah. Yeah, the subframe. Um, which is this. So take that out, because obviously that's not going to go in there. So that sits onto the subframe that way around. And the flap spring goes on top of there. And it seats perfectly. It does. And then you reuse your top mount, or we buy new ones, whatever. We haven't bought new ones, but then that will just twist onto there like that and then that so that is the way it goes that's it, in that's set. the orientation I've used orientation twice to so it sits in like that and then obviously when you adjust your lock ring in there you can raise that bit up and down which does your height as well as the damper so I don't know how the hell this is gonna sit <laughs> I don't know how the hell this is gonna sit but all you can do is whack it on can't you adjust it and, yeah. then, and then we'll see we got pretty lucky with the front I think so yeah that's it so the damper is in you put that in both sides, bit tricky that bit to get a jack underneath in the middle like we have. Yeah. One either side. And then jack and it then up. And then put it in, jack it up so until it's seated properly. Get your bolts in and then that'll hold it in place and then you're fucking done mate, I reckon. So let's get to it. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're on. We had a bit of an issue over that there side Throw because your fucking ass on the light. Oh, because the uh Head of the bolt at the bottom of the strut is fucked. But we got him on and we're going to replace that another time. There's the setup look from behind. Oh, so you can just by jacking it up, look, you don't even need to take the wheels off to uh, adjust, adjust the these. I wouldn't have thought. Well, that's good. There and there. And there. Uh, so we're going to lower it down, see how she sits, because I haven't got a clue, mate, how this is going to huh. actually sit, because. I just, you just don't, do you know what I mean? No. So, uh, I'll drop really it happened. down, see how it sits. And it's not hard, the only faff was uh, having to drill out the rubber bits at the top and that dickhead bolt that was rounded off. Well, like you say, it's fibbing out as well because it's, it's, it's the universe has ever done. Yeah, exactly, it's all a bit new. Usually it's just bottom and off you go. But these things here are a freaking lifesaver if you're working on older cars or just if you work on cars in general, get yourself a set of these that. You literally just put them on as you would a socket. It grabs hold of a rounded nut and then just literally undoes it. Life savers. So we got the bolt off using that and then managed to knock on a 14 mil over a 15 and we've tightened it up real tight. So it ain't coming off, but we, we will replace it. They um, generally saved our ass today. Cause <laughs> oh yeah, 100%. We that 100%. And the reason I bought them was to do my uh, catch, my bonnet catch. Look at these stuff. Every SDK owner needs to have them. Mm, yep. Got all them little dress up bolts in there now. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm very intrigued, I'm not going to lie, as to what the hell this is going to sit like when we drop it, because I have no idea. I, well, we have an idea on this, the actual spring adjustment because we've kind of made them the same length as the teen springs. Yeah. But the shock itself, I ain't got a clue what that's going to do. I'm excited to drive it. Well, I'm assuming that your adjustment thing is just drop inside them. Where is your little baggie with the bits in? Right Down the front right there. Like I say, for me, this coil is really, it's all about... Yeah. The, just the, uh, the dampening and all that. Like, oh, of course it is. It's the adjustability, and if you were to change wheels, yeah, you can then suit the suspension again to the wheels with the ride height without having to change springs. Do you know what I mean? I mean, um, the height is never a bit of this has never been an issue for me. I kind of no, no. On the team, yeah, so. yeah, exactly. The only difference with the yellow speeds is uh, on mine on the BCs, all this is all built in, all your adjustments. Whereas on these, it's all built in, obviously. But you have these little rods, yeah, that just kind of slot in. Which on the front, like that. which to be fair, you could just leave them in, mate. Yeah, which on the front you have to um, 
put them in before you put all your stuff back together because otherwise you won't get them in. Yeah, the scuttle panel on that, we found that out. We started to clip it all in and was like, oh shit, we haven't put the things in. Yeah. We had to rip it all off again. Because you will not no. get them in. So, let's have a look. So, the soft, we were allowed to to soft, didn't we? Uh, I don't know what it said. It said don't go past hard all the way to hard, wasn't it? I think. I believe it was right at the very back. Rear, turn the adjustment knob to eight clicks from the softest setting. What's that for, standard? That's for, yeah. Yeah, for standard setting. What the? I can't do that. It's so annoying, this, isn't it? You fucking get rid of it. You can't get your fucking hand in there. Oh, that must be it, then. One. What was that one? Did you call class that one? Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. But the, can you feel that in there, can you? It goes click, click, oh, you can click, feel click, it? Click, yeah. So you can't hear it, yours you can hear them, can't yeah. you? Yeah, no, you can physically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, have a little spin, go back one and then forwards one. You'll feel it, you'll feel a little. Oh yeah. See? So that's on eight, but then do you want it as, as it would be OEM? No, I want it softer. Uh, they were they were really harsh. But the beauty of that is, mate, drive it, keep yeah. it softer, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But then they should be fairly soft, because there's 33 points of adjustment, and you've clicked eight up from soft, so they mm. should be pretty should soft. should be, yeah. And I don't know how, um, how much it makes a difference on mine i can do like two or three clicks and feel a difference whereas these might be different you might do six or seven clicks and you feel a difference i don't know but i'm sure they're all the same i have no idea mate the max peter mods i've never been down this route with, um, with well yeah so true i don't know what am i supposed to be feeling for you know what i mean yeah well let's jack her up get the stands out we'll drop it down and then we'll have a freaking goofy gander and we'll have a bit of Really high. Yeah. Really high. So I say you drive it off. Drive so it off. Maybe reverse out and back in. And see what. It's, yeah. See if it settles with the handbrake off. Well, even pinging the handbrake off now, it's probably sink. And then uh, we can adjust accordingly. What's the same? Sunk a little bit, but it needs to be lower. It's, it's quite huge. Let me get in the. I was going to get another button. minute. This is the test now. Yeah, that's pretty soft, isn't it? That's bouncy. Yeah. Um, but I think it needs to drop. Don't you? We've got to jack it up to drop it. Yeah. But that just no way we blocks or anything, will we? No, just put the jack under Slide the back. Underneath, yeah. It up, uh, twist up the spring ones, drop it again, and see what that does. Leave the damp dampers as they are. For yeah, them. yeah. So realistically, it needs to be dropped by fifteen, twenty. Twenty. We'll put it there. Yeah. Alright, jack it up, oh, love we will be back. Alright, we've done it all back together. One pain in the butt, obviously, with the suspension on these, is that to adjust the height, you've got to jack it back up again, get the wheels off, drop the beam, take the bolts out of the bottom of the struts to adjust it all, then put it back together, which we've done. She's sitting much, much better now on the rear, and bloody handsome on the front. I think we'll probably have a little fettle, don't you? Yeah, with, um, Another time, but we're running out of time today, so... Uh, they're on. They're on. They're and on the pain. Well, we'll uh, maybe do another video on adjusting them, proper dialing them in. Yeah. And we're obviously going to do a video on um, driving it and how different it feels and uh, how much the dampening settings make a difference and stuff like that, won't we? Yes. We'll do like a definitely I don't know, a couple, two, three weeks on comparison. Comparison video, but yeah. I'm just, yeah, I'm quite excited to drive it home. To yeah, just bear in mind, obviously, that we have not touched anything. We've just put it on, set a height, yeah. 
haven't touched the dampening. I haven't even checked the front ones, what they're on. No. So we'll check them. I'll check them before you leave. Yeah. And just put them on standard for now as well. See how it feels. But yeah, that's it. Thanks, Danny and Rich, for uh, sorting out some coins. The legends that are diner days. Yes. All I need you to sort me out now, Danny and Rich, is a test pipe for the S2K. Skunk to exhaust manifold. Skunk to air inlet manifold. Just one of them. Many other things. No, not all the ones. I can't afford that. I'm freaking broken, isn't it? <laughs> Tell us. Enough rice and beans. Oh. So there we go. There's another video. It's bloody hot in here. It is really hot in here. Massive thanks again to Danny and Richard yeah, and huge thank you. for um, sponsoring the parts for Chrissy's car. Amazing. It's coming on really well. That's one of the final things to go on it, really, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking ruddy, bloody great. Bit of a sod, but it wasn't too bad. Well, we weren't rushing, were we? It took us a lot longer than what took we us were expecting. Fucking ages. We don't fair, nine, well, just after nine. The main three. issue was not the suspension, the main issue was rounded bolts. Yeah, really, wasn't it? Yeah, we can't yeah, gun yeah. things on and off, and we're going to replace the two bolts that are fucked on the on the rear. Yeah, they're all right, but we had to put on a slightly reduced yeah. size. So you've got to be very tentative, and they're and like this freaking long, and do so. them by hand. Exactly. So, but it's all back together. It's all good. Lovely, jubbly. She's sexual. So yeah, don't forget to get all your discount codes. I love, look, I love looking at them. Yeah. It's amazing, doesn't it? I like looking at mine. I haven't even drove mine with a new wheel on it yet. You haven't a few. Hasn't moved. For fuck's sake. It's terrible. So busy. Weather like this should be out with it now. No, mate. Top down. I'm going home for a barbie now. Yeah, me too. Oh. I'm going for a little barbie. <laughs> he's going to go burgers then. No, I'm going to go. We'll, we'll get his burgers. I'm going to get a fucking steak on the way home. Oh, yeah. Get a big fat ribeye. I've got my secret little stash in the car. Oh, nice. No, oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> But you don't watch anyway, really. Busted. <laughs> don't forget your discount codes. They're all in the outro, apart from one, which I'll put here Ooh. for Solar Plexus yes. UK. Yes, Solar Plexus. You can get 15% off your Solar Plexus tints. Decent. Um, oh, yeah. There. There you go. That's it, really, isn't it? That's it. Jobs we've, are good. We've got some other, video in other things coming up soon. We've got lots. A little mini-series on someone else's car completely Yeah, different. someone has actually approached us and asked us to do their car for them. Yeah, so we're going to whack that on the channel. Bless her. That's my neighbour. Yeah. Oh, fart. So there we go. Ready, ready to go. Thanks, Danny and Rich, for sponsoring the channel at Dino Days Port. Love ya. Tactical racing also. And as I said before, get your discount codes in the outro for all your monies off your cool shiznish. And we bloody love you. See you on the next video. <laughs> Peace, Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Yellow, yeah. yellow speed coilovers are amazing. He doesn't know yet. He hasn't driven it. <laughs> <laughs>